Now you can also buy our favorite toys from www.puntunkids.com. Link is in the description. Gatu's new haircut. Everyone has their own kind of craze. Gatu also had a craze, the craze of long hair. Gatu, your hair seems longer. You should get a haircut. Son, long hair does not suit you. We should do the hairstyle which suits us. Poor Gatu got upset. He didn't wanted to cut his hair. When Gatu came home, he did not tell anything to his parents, but Chinky, she wasn't going to keep it a secret. As soon as she came home, she tattled tell everything about Gatu. Dad, Mishra sir has asked Gatu to cut his hair before going to school tomorrow. Oh, how long have I seen convincing him to? But he didn't seem to budge. His mother also takes his side. No, if Mishra sir is asked to cut his hair, so then I will not take Gatu's side. Gatu, now you must cut your hair. Hearing this, Gatu started crying. No, mom. You know now for how many days I have been growing my hairs. Then how can I cut it suddenly? I want to have long hairs like the hero of that movie. You saw it, right? When he was running after the villain sitting on a horse, how his hair was swaying in the wind. Son, that was a movie. There is a difference between real and real world. Grown hair does not give good impact in school and society. We should have a decent hairstyle. which suits our personality Mishra sir was saying the same thing Gattu was sitting in his room sad because papa was about to take him for a haircut Gattu why are you feeling sad look what i have for you you can keep your hair long like this here Jinky how did you do it i wanted my hair just like this how good would i look in such hairs This is the new feature of 3D Beer app in which you can make your own avatar. You just have to click on your photo, select accessories and create your own avatar. So download the 3D Beer app and make your own AR world. And then in the evening, dad went to the salon with Gattu. Gattu did not feel like staying there at all. He was sitting sadly in a corner holding his hair. His long hair was about to be cut off at any time. Then a very old looking barber came to Gattu and said, "Come on son, let's have a haircut." Gattu became more sad seeing the barber. He thought that the age of this barber was too much. Then how would he understand Gattu's feeling? He will cut his hair in some old style and then everyone will make fun of him but that barber was cool and smart wow your hair texture seems great your hair is also long the advantage of long hair is that i can give you a nice hairstyle by giving them a good shape which will suit you and impress everyone Gattu became very happy on hearing this. Then the barber used scissors and Gattu's hair started falling down. And Gattu got a nice haircut. Gattu was very happy to see his new look in the mirror. Wow, the cut is even better than the long hairs. Thanks uncle. I thought you would give me some old haircut. But you gave me a unique haircut. What is the name of this haircut? It doesn't have a name. And I have never tried it before. You are the first who got this style. You tell me what to name it. Um, I am feeling absolutely crazy about seeing this hair. Shall we name it Crazy Cut? Wow. Crazy Cut. Today I will add it to my list. Dad also liked Gattu's haircut very much. Dad told the barber, "You have done an amazing job. Gattu did not even wanted to have a haircut, and now look how happy he is." <laughs> Gattu, there is a hairstyle for everyone that suits. Just like that. Because everyone is unique. That's why it is better not to copy someone. We should do what suits us. 
when mom saw gattu's haircut she was also happy wow you are looking very confident smart and charming gattu it was fun the next day when gattu entered his class gutti hari banti and the entire class was looking towards gattu gattu was feeling very special wow gattu nice hairstyle thanks my friend What is the name of this cut, Gattu? Crazy cut. And Gattu got crazy when Mishra sir himself started praising his crazy cut. Wow, Gattu, this hairstyle suits you very much. The hair is still a bit long, but it suits you. Gattu was very happy to hear this. He was very happy with this new hairstyle. But poor Bunty. Seeing Gattu's hairstyle and all the praise, he was getting very restless from inside. In the afternoon break, he said, "Gattu, Gattu, tell me the address of your barber. I want to do the same hairstyle like you." "Don't do that," my barber said. "We should only do the hairstyle which suits us." "I think this hairstyle will not suit you. Try whatever suits you." Okay, got it. You want to be praised alone. If I do a same haircut like you, then your value will decrease. That is why you are doing so much drama, aren't you? No, not at all, Bunty. It's not like that. But it's okay if you want. I'll give you the address of my barber. That is your call. The next day, something happened which should not have happened. Bunty also entered the class like Gattu with his crazy cut. As soon as he entered the class, everyone stared at him, and then suddenly started laughing, because that hairstyle didn't look good on Bunty. <laughs> Bunty, what have you done? It doesn't suit you. It only suits on Gattu. Mishra sir also did not like Bunty's new look, and then Bunty came to Gattu in the afternoon and said, "Sorry, man, Gattu, you were right." The barber was also explaining me, but I did not listen and made a joke of myself. Now, did you understand? We should do what suits us. Copying others will not be useful. I too was not able to understand this thing earlier, but my barber explained it to me. Now you also understand and go and fix your hairstyle in the evening. Bunty was embarrassed and decided not to copy Gattu ever again. Swami Vivekananda and Corona Due to Corona Gattu and Chinki school was closed for the last 11 months but after seeing the effect of corona decreasing the school decided to reopen all the classrooms were sanitized and the teachers were also given special training while Gattu and Chinki were upset by the news of school reopening on the other side their parents were also worried about the children Gattu Chinki's dad, are you sending your children to the school tomorrow? Yes, we have to send them because they couldn't study properly through online classes. Now they can at least study properly at school. There's no point in that. Kids won't be able to take the schooling pressure after this long gap. Gattu and Chinki were also scared. They did not want it to go to school. We will not go to school. There is corona. Kids, your friends will be there too. No one will come. I had called them. Raju, Gudi, Samir. No one wants to come. We also don't want to go. Saying this, Gattu and Chinki started crying, and their parents got upset. It was the morning of 12th January. Their mother prepared Gattu and Chinki for school, and sent them along with their father. As soon as their father came in front of the school, the watchman stopped him. Sir, parents are not allowed inside the school because of corona. Please go for now and wait here in the evening. We will send your kids safely to you. When their father started returning after listening to the watchman, Gattu and Chinki started crying even loudly seeing him go. Children go inside and don't be afraid. 
मिश्रा सर इज वेटिंग फॉर यू इन साइड द्लास गट्टू एंड चिंकी वो सिटिंग डाउन कास्ट इन साइड द्लास द क्लास रूम एनवायरमेंट वॉज नॉट द सेम एज इट यूज टू बी ऑल द किड्स वो मेड टू सिट अवे फ्रॉम ईच अदर विच अफेक्टेड दे मूड मिश्रा सर वॉज टीचिंग सडनली ही स्टॉप एंड स्टार्टेड लुकिंग एट द अनहैपी फेसिस ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन विद अवी हार्ट I know. You all are scared. It is not right to study in such condition. If we will talk, you all will feel better. Tell me, Gatu, what is the problem? Sir, everyone was saying that now our school will not be the same as before. We will not understand anything, even if you teach us. After so many holidays, suddenly studying will bring pressure on us. So. Corona is not yet gone. None of our friends have come to school. We also were forcibly sent. After listening to Gattu and Chinki, Mishra sir said, "Understood. All of you are scared. To bid your fear goodbye, today I will tell you the story of a great man who never feared in life, remained focused in his purpose, and became a great man in the whole world." Can anyone tell me who is that great man? I know who that great man was. He was Swami Vivekananda. Absolutely right, Gatu. The story of Swami Vivekananda and his thoughts can inspire not only us but the whole world today to come out of the swamp of Corona. Sir, please tell us his story. While. Swami Vivekananda was passing through a forest. Some monkeys started following him. Swami ji got scared and started running fast, and the monkeys also started chasing him. Wherever Swami ji was going, the monkeys followed him. In this way, running away from the monkeys, Swami ji came far away. Then what happened? Did the monkeys give up chasing Swami ji? No. The monkey did not give up chasing them. While running, Swami ji started thinking, "I am running. That's why these monkeys are chasing me. I am scared. That's why they are scaring me. If I don't get afraid and tactfully tackle them, then they will go away." So children, Swami ji stopped running and he picked up a stick and stood up with courage. After seeing the stick the monkeys stopped chasing him and ran away Thus Swami ji faced the crisis with courage and he became successful So what did you learn from this story Chinki stood up and said that we should face the crisis just like Swami ji without being afraid Corona is standing in front of us like a crisis but we should not get afraid of it we should tackle it just like swami ji the more we fear the more corona will scare us our aim is to study if we focus on our studies without being scared and being cautious then we will definitely achieve our goal because swami ji has said arise awake and stop not till the goal is reached so children will you get scared of corona no so will you come to school every day and bring your friends to yes in this way listening to the story of swami vivekananda along with gattu and chinki all the other kids got courage and also the power to fight against corona Forgetful Gattu. A long time ago, a boy named Gattu lived with his parents in a city. Though he was a good boy in every sense, but he had a problem of forgetting things. Often he forgot small things. I'm smart and I know it. I'm smart and I know it. Oh, I came to my school. I was supposed to go to the market. I'm so forgetful. Gattu's mother tried a lot of things to cure this forgetting habit of Gattu. 
By eating this almond dessert, my Gattu will surely get rid of his problem. But it did not make any difference in this habit of Gattu. Gattu, I asked you to bring curd and you bought milk instead. When will you get rid of this forgetting problem of yours? In Gattu's class, his fellow students also used to make fun of his problem. Gattu, today you should take me along on your way back. There is a possibility that you may forget your destination. <laughs> and Gattu always got angry on them. I don't need your service at all. As usual, today also my mother will come and pick me up. One day, Gattu, while alone in the classroom, was learning a lesson. His friend Rohit came over there and told his two friends. Have you seen how comfortably Gattu is learning his lesson over there? Come, let's tease him. Yes, come, let's tease him. But what will we do? I have a wonderful plan. Saying this, Rohit told his plan to both of them and then two of his friends remained there and Rohit came near Gattu. What are you doing, Gattu? I'm preparing for my test. But our exam is tomorrow. Come, let's play. No, I don't want to play with you. You always make fun of me. Yes, but at this moment I wish to play with you. I told you that I don't want to play with you. Rohit's friends saw all this from behind and Rohit had confused Gattu in his talks. And according to the plan, very quietly, they came over there and they took out Gattu's English notebook from his school bag and went from there. All right, don't play if you don't wish to. Saying this, Rohit also went from there. He took Gattu's book from his friends and hid it somewhere. After some time, bell rang for the next period and their English teacher came to the classroom. Kids, I will check English notebooks of each and every one of you. Therefore, one by one, all of you come with your notebooks to me. The teacher started checking notebooks of every child. On opening his bag, Gatu found that his notebook wasn't there. And he got frightened by this. Where is my notebook? I kept here in the bag in the morning. Or I must have forgotten. Uh, whatever it is, now teacher will be very angry. And then teacher called Gatu. Gatu, now you come up with your notebook. Gatu got very scared and he stood up. Teacher, teacher, today I forgot to bring my notebook. You forgot to bring your notebook? Sorry, teacher. Gatu, if you don't come up with your notebook tomorrow, then I will straight away take you to the principal. Understood? Okay, teacher. On seeing Gatu getting scolded, Rohit and his friends became very happy. After school, Rohit and his friends went near Gattu. Rohit returned Gattu's notebook back. Take this, your notebook. Was this with you? Yes, while I was talking to you, then very quietly, my friends took this out from your bag. But why did you do this? I'll tell everything to the teacher. But teacher won't believe it. After all, everyone knows that how forgetful you are. This Rohit always makes fun of me. I'll surely teach him a lesson someday. Next day, Rohit was playing with his friends. And then, Gattu quietly went near his bag and took his Hindi notebook out from his bag and went from there. Our English teacher is very cool. But Hindi teacher, she's so hot-headed. Now Rohit will come to know. <laughs> Saying this, got to hit Rohit's notebook somewhere. After some time, when the bell rang for the next period, their Hindi teacher came to the class. Teacher said to the students, Today, I will check everyone's homework. Therefore, all of you, one by one, come with your notebook to me. Rohit, first you come. On opening his bag, Rohit was unable to find his Hindi notebook. Scared, he stood up and said, Madam, 
It seems I forgot to bring my Hindi notebook today. What? You didn't brought your Hindi notebook today? There is no use of saying sorry now. You should get punishment. Stand up on your seat and raise both your hands. Rohit raised both of his hands and stood on his seat. Seeing this all, the kids started laughing. <laughs> you called me forgetful. <laughs> now Gatti took his revenge. As soon as bell rang for the next period, Hindi teacher went from there and Gatti went to Rohit. You hid my notebook, Rohit. Now how does it feel? Means you have hidden my notebook. Yes, because you hid my notebook. All right. If now your revenge is over, then please return my notebook to me. Wait. I shall bring it right away. Saying this, Gatu came out from there, but due to his forgetful nature, he wasn't able to recall that where he kept Rohit's notebook. I'm unable to recall that where did I hide his notebook? What shall I do now? After returning, he told everything to Rohit. And after listening to him, Rohit got very angry. What? You have lost my notebook? Now what will I show to our Hindi teacher tomorrow? I will complain against you to the principal. Saying this, Rohit went to the principal and told the entire matter to him. Principal sir, I just merely joked with Katu, but he lost my notebook. Katu and Rohit you both are at fault so you both now shall be punished now both of you will purchase a new notebook and in that half lessons you both will copy and by the next week we'll hand it over to your hindi teacher understood yes, yes principal, principal sir. sir this way due to rohit's mischievousness and gatu's anger and forgetfulness principal punished both of them makar sankranti gattu and chinki were helping their grandma with laundry and were chatting non stop grandma teach me how to do this yes dear i will but both of you are still kids for now just help me with it in a few years i will teach you how to operate it but i am already grown up dadi <laughs> Oh, got to well said. Then bring the curtains from the room, and also bring the pillow covers. I will wash them too. And Jinky, you stay here. I will remove the washed clothes from the machine, and you put them in the bucket. Your mother will hang them to dry. Okay, Grandma. They hear a doorbell. Got to just go and check who is on the door. Mummy also came in the drawing room. Hello. How are you? Mr. Sharma, how are you? What brought you here? I am fine too. Actually, Makar Sankranti is on the way. This year we are planning to organize kite competition for the kids of our society. Kite competition? Yes, dear. Kite competition. We want that kids should make their own kite and fly it on the 14th of January in the ground. Those kite will look most beautiful in the sky will be announced as the winner and we will also enjoy gajak til papdi and tasty khichdi over there that means we all will have lunch on the ground and also keep in mind that you should not use chinese thread it can cut your hand and also harm the birds okay i will keep it in mind this is our festival and we will celebrate it nicely and will only use normal threads then mr sharma leaves Mummy, Jinky and I will also make kite. Yes. Okay, go with your dad and get some colorful papers. Gattu and Jinky were cutting papers the night before Makar Sankranti. Don't copy me, Gattu. I am making kite with sun on it. <laughs> you are going to lose. I am making a dragon. My dragon will fly highest. Don't come to see my design. I am going to mummy's room. You will lose. Don't come to see my design. Papa and mummy laughed at their bickering. It was Makar Sankranti. All the kids and people of society gathered on the ground. 
Sharma uncle was hosting the program. Today is a very auspicious day. This day is celebrated throughout India in different manner. In Punjab, Lodi was celebrated yesterday and in the south, Pongal is celebrated. And we celebrate it because sun is over our heads. It's the start of the summer. Today, all the planets are aligned with each other. But how, uncle? As we all know that all the planets revolve around the sun. So, on the day of Sankranti, they come in one line. You might have learnt about it in geography subject. Wow! And yes, now we will start our competition. Whose kite will look more beautiful and will cut more kites will be the winner of this competition. Pinky, Goody, Bunty and Hari started jumping up and down. I will win. My kite will cut all the kites. No, my kite will be the one. Just wait and watch. Chinky and Gattu were watching them and then they look at their papa. And papa says, do not worry, you have worked very hard for this. Just tie the thread to your kite and fly it in the sky. Papa, I don't know how to tie the thread. I will do it, don't worry. All the kids went to different corners of the ground with their parents and they started tying the thread to their kite. Bunty was the first to fly the kite in the sky and people started applauding. Sharma uncle was giving commentary. And here goes Bunty's kite. It is so beautiful with lion's face. I think Bunty will win today. No, Papa. I want to win. Okay, but fly the kite first. Goody's kite went to some distance but then got stuck in a tree. Hari's kite with the dog face went higher than Bunty's kite. <laughs> My kite is on the top. Now I will cut your thread, buddy. Gattu was flying his kite with a dragon on it and Papa was helping him. <laughs> it is so much fun, Papa. Look at that. Gattu's kite is by far the most beautiful and biggest kite. It really looks like a green dragon. Let's see how long this dragon will last in the sky. Now Bunty and Hari were competing with each other. Other kids were clapping and encouraging them. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Some kids were hooting for Bunty. Bunty, Bunty, Bunty! Gattu's kite also slowly reached the height of other kites. Tinky was still trying to tie the thread. She started crying seeing that other kids were ahead of her. Papa, my kite! I will lose this way. Don't cry, dear. Try to fly it slowly. Hari finally managed to cut Bunty's kite and kids started cheering Hari Hari. Gattu, come. It's your turn. I will kill your dragon. Wait, I'll just come. Very soon, Gattu and Hari started competing with each other. Goody and Chinky were still crying. Goody's kite was stuck on the tree and Chinky's kite wasn't flying at all because it has a small tear in it. Chinky, don't cry. It's okay. Look at that. Gattu's kite is flying so high. Let's support him. Don't be sad, dear. Gattu and Hari are still competing with each other. All the kids were hooting and supporting them. Grandma, Papa, Mummy and all other parents were clapping. After some time, Gattu managed to cut Hari's kite. It's over. Chinky ran towards Gattu and hugged him. We won! After some time, Sharma uncle announced the winner. And the winner of the kite competition is Gattu. All the kids made amazing kites today. I request all of you to enjoy lunch and dance to the DJ music. In the evening, we will fly kite with lights together. Gattu was very happy. All the people relished the delicious khichdi and till good laddus. Sister's Wedding When Gattu Chinki came home from school, they saw mom and dad were sitting in the hall. Mom seemed very excited and dad was talking and laughing on a phone call. No, no, not at all, Nikhil. Both the brothers will have to go.
अदरवाइज मालती ताई विल फील बैड हे वॉट आर यू टॉकिंग अबाउट मैन द किड्स विल ऑल्सो कम विद अस दे विल ऑल्सो सी हाउ मैरिज इज इन विलेज टेक प्लेस ऑल राइट गट टू चिंकी आर हेयर आई टॉक टू यू लेटर गट टू चिंकी कुड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड हुज मैरिज डैड वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट so both of you are here listen dad is going to tell you something after hearing that both of you will go crazy saying this mom started laughing and dad told gattu chinki gattu chinki we have a cousin sister malti tai her daughter chitra didi is getting married there is a small village near nasik panchwati would you both like to come mom dad thought that after hearing this news of marriage gattu chinki would start dancing but nothing like that happened gattu chinki looked at each other and both of them went towards their room without saying anything hey what's wrong say something hey children tell me whether you will come or not sudhir uncle megha aunty munmun and bunny are also coming i have to book train tickets for everyone it is going to be a lot of fun kids say something but both of them silently went towards their room without saying anything going inside chinki closed the door and as soon as the door closed yay it's our sister's marriage got to chinki danced sang and cheered a lot and hearing their noise their mom and dad got fed up finally the day had come gattu chinki mom dad and sudhir uncle's entire family sat in the morning train and left for panchwati gattu chinki and their cousins bunny and munmun were sitting near the window the train was running fast and the kids were enjoying the beautiful view outside the rivers streams mountains and green fields as soon as the city of nasik left the kids got lost in the lush green view of the vineyards at 10 o'clock everyone got down at panchwati station the station was very small and very beautiful panchwati village was near the station bullock carts were arranged from malti aunty's side to take the guests from station to the village the bullock cart was decorated very beautifully Gattu Chinki sat with mom and dad in one car and other bullock cart carried with Sudhir uncle's family from behind Gattu Chinki were sitting in the bullock cart for the first time they were enjoying it very much their cart driver was running very fast and Gattu Chinki were waving towards Bunny and Munmun the bullock cart reached the wedding venue through the beautiful roads of the village Everyone was shocked seeing the arrangement. The wedding tent was very beautiful. Under the tent, colorfully dressed guests were running here and there. The drummers, the clarinets were playing very well. The atmosphere was very energetic and beautiful. A woman dressed very well was running like a bhingri in the tent. asking the guests if they needed something malti tai dad raised his voice and the woman came running towards him after seeing everyone this was dad's cousin sister malti tai you all have come i was just waiting for you hello kids come on everyone go get freshen up and have some snacks in the tent come then what everyone got ready after getting fresh dressed in new clothes and came and sat in the tent then the villagers served breakfast to everyone the breakfast was very tasty breakfast is done let's go megha let's help malti tai we are on the bride side we have to be ready before the procession arrives yes bhabhi both of you go me and bhaiya will meet jija ji and will ask about the arrangements here and dad what do we do munmun and bunny you both stay with gattu chinki Roam around, make new friends from the village, and play with them. Let's go. Gattu Chinki started running around in the tent with their cousins and play. They even made new friends from the village at this wedding. They had a lot of fun with them. They talked a lot. You want to see the vineyards? Yes. We have never seen vineyards. Take us there. Not now. It's time for the procession. We will go tomorrow. Then what? 
the procession came and everyone was dancing and gattu chinki started enjoying the procession with everyone after a while everyone came inside the tent the bride and groom came and sat beside the priest the bride and groom were sitting next to each other the bride was blushing and the groom was smiling the couple looked really nice together the priest recited the verses their pheras were completed and then both of them put garlands around each other's neck the shahnai started playing loudly and the marriage was completed neither the scary sound of firecrackers nor any tantrum of the dj the marriage was completed in a very traditional and simple way gattu chinki were having food with friends sitting inside the tent there was no need to take food by their own the villagers came to everyone and were serving food with great love there were many dishes and all the dishes were very tasty you know this food has been made by the villagers themselves with their own hands that's why it's so tasty do the villagers do all the work in the marriages here yes if there is a wedding in any house of the village from setting the tent to cooking from the reception of the guests at the arrival to their departure the villagers do all the work no contract is given to anyone It's good. In the weddings of the city, contract is given for everything starting from food to songs. That's fine too. You guys have the money. The villagers don't have that much money, but there is love in the village. Everything is done with love and considering it as one's own. That enhances its taste just like this food. That's fine, but finish the food quickly. because it is not allowed to waste food in the village the whole plate has to be emptied hearing this gattu chinki started laughing and again started eating the tasty food children's day it was children's day gattu and chinki wake up when their papa and mummy say happy, happy children's, children's day. day thank you mummy thanks papa welcome children it's your day enjoy it fully Gattu and Chinki go to school. In the school, the principal delivers a speech on Children's Day. Children, today is 14th November. Today, our former Prime Minister's Jawaharlal Nehru's birthday. In framing Indian Constitution, he played a major role. Nehru ji loved children and roses very much. That's why we celebrate Children's Day. Today you all have relaxation from study just enjoy today's day Principal presents a rose to every child in the school and blesses them After that the children started playing There were excellent arrangements for refreshments and games There were sweets to eat and many toys to play with Gattu and Chinki were playing with their friends on the slipping slide What fun! Yoo-hoo! While playing on the slides, Gattu notices that outside the gate some poor children with sacks on their shoulders were looking at them with merciful eyes. Oh, poor children are standing there. They might have interest to play with us. Let's call them with us. Yes, yes, call them. Gattu, Chinki and other children go near the gate. The poor children get frightened. Don't be afraid. You can also play with us. You also get food here. Come on, come on. Hearing about this, a poor and innocent child said, "Nobody will beat you. We are there by your side. Today is our day, Children's Day. Let's go." The children agreed. After playing a lot, all the children were very tired. Let's go. We are tired now. Let's have some drink and food. We should go now. If somebody see us then we will face problem. Let's go for lunch. Don't you feel hungry? Yes, we are hungry, but still we have to do work. If we don't collect garbage and don't sell them, then we won't get food. Aren't you going to school? Our family is poor. They don't afford us to go to school. Gattu and Chinki were hurt learning this. Then there comes a security guard, and finding the poor children inside, he becomes furious. 
How dare you to come inside? Who allowed you? Get lost. Go. Guard was trying to force them out. Gattu and Chinky stopped the guard. Uncle, don't scold them. We called them here. Yes, Uncle. Today is Children's Day. How can you beat a child like this? They are poor. They don't have anything to play, nor they have food. As they are poor, they couldn't able to afford study. You can't throw these children out. If these children go from here, then we will also go out. We will neither eat nor play. Yes, Chinky is right. Don't be stubborn. If I don't let them out, then my job is in stake. At that time, the principal comes and he says to the guard. Who told you that your job will be at stake? These kids are saying right. They are kids too. They are poor, so they have their right for good food, good shelter, and good education. Thank you, sir. These kids are poor. They have to work for their food. They couldn't able to study. Gattu and Chinky, I am proud of you, kids. You all thought of these poor children. Only speech is not enough. We have to implement those in our life, and I will do that. Peter, what is your name? Sir, I am Shravan. This is Raju and Chotu. Where do you live, Peter? And what your family do for living? Sir, we are staying at slum, and our parents they are selling garbages. Do you want to study? Sir, we are poor. We couldn't able to study. Who told you that you can't study? Bring your parents tomorrow. I will do the admission of yours, and I will bear your educational expenses. Sir, in our slum, many children are interested for study. Yes, yes, come together. If every child can play and enjoy their food, then only the children they will be successful. Now go, enjoy your food. Gattu and Chinky, take your new friends. Let's go, Shravan. Let's go, Raju. Come on! All the children rush towards the food and jump on sweets and food. Thus, on the basis of good thoughts and assistance of Gattu and Chinky, the poor children could enjoy Children's Day too. Crackers free Diwali. Holidays for Diwali was on. Diwali is the favorite festival of Gattu and Chinky. They wanted to celebrate it with pomp and show. Gattu and Chinky were building a palace made of clay along with the children of the colony. The palace was almost complete. How much bigger will it be? Everything is ready. Only decoration is left. At that time, Papa calls Gattu and Chinky. Children, come inside. Responding to Papa's call, Gattu and Chinky rush towards home. Children, I am going to market. Please make a list of your crackers. The very name of crackers made them both very happy. They started to make the list, and the list was complete. Yes, Papa, this is the list. Let me see what you have written. Sparklers, rockets, chocolate bomb, and many more. Oh my God! This is not list. This is the complete shop. Papa, we are going to make castle. Come on, Chinky. And got to Chinky run out. Darling, have you prepared the list? And then mother comes in. Here it is, the list of groceries. Oh my God, your list is smaller than kids. What is all that the children have written? Let me have a look. Mummy was also astonished to see the list of crackers. So many crackers? Wait, let me strike off few. No, no, let them. Kids may feel low. So what? Is it good to burst crackers? And mummy curtailed the list of crackers. Take this. Bring only this much. Okay, okay. I'm going. Papa went to the market. Next day, it was the morning of Diwali. Chinky and Gattu get up early in the morning. They take an early bath and go out. Did you see how the children went out to play after taking bath? So much of work is left. Now who will help me do these things? Let them go. They are kids. I will help you out. Just chill out. The palace of Gattu and Chinky was fully complete. The children of the colony were happy to see this. Wow, so pretty! Yes, 
Yes, yes, you are right. The whole day, Gattu and Chinki enjoyed a lot. Ate food prepared by mother and made fun with the children. And in the evening, engaged themselves to watch TV. Children, the whole day you have played and now you are watching TV. I and your papa had to do all the work. At least let's perform the puja now. Yes, yes. Let me finish the puja. After that, I will fire the crackers. Come on, Chinky. Then starts the puja. Wearing new clothes, Gattu and Chinky worship Goddess Lakshmi along with their parents. After the puja ends, the children receive the blessings of Goddess Lakshmi. They touch the feet of their parents. And just then, the sound of crackers were heard outside. Mummy, please give our crackers. We have to go out. Mummy brings the crackers. Seeing the crackers, Gattu and Chinky get annoyed. Huh? Only this much of crackers. By today it will finish off. Burst the crackers one by one. It will suffice for a few more days. Papa, we had given you the list. Then how it is so less in number? We only have light crackers. We don't have rocket or chocolate bomb. Then there came a sound of bomb blast from outside. My God, did you hear the loud sound of the bomb? It will harm the eardrum. Children, Diwali is festival of lights. Crackers creates air pollution. Fireworks also creates problem to birds as well as animals. If we burn loud crackers, then it may harm us also. Just then, Bunty comes running. What happened, Bunty? Bunty, did you know Rani? Her brother was injured by bomb and he burnt his hand. My God, how is he? We had to take him to the hospital. He was crying. Gattu and Chinky, we will not play with fireworks. I advise you to not to do so. It's too dangerous. Did you hear this, Gattu and Chinky? We wanted to tell you this. Every year, a lot of children are injured by crackers. Some of them are even handicapped forever. Therefore, it is wise to keep a distance from crackers. Sorry, Mummy Papa. Now we know the demerits of crackers. We will not lead the crackers. Bunty asks Gattu, What will you do now? Everyone is in fear. We will fall asleep today. Bunty dear, don't be afraid. We won't burst crackers. But we can decorate the palace that you have made with beautiful lamps. Oh yes, this is a wonderful idea. Come on then. All of them gathered near the palace and started to decorate it with lots of lamps. The palace illuminates with the light of lamps. Does Gattu and Chinky celebrate Cracker Free Diwali? Father's Lesson Today is Monday, means the most difficult day of the week. As much one feels comfortable coming home on Friday, that much difficulty one faces to go to school on Monday. And Anjali was finding it even more difficult today. She is Anjali and this story is about Anjali only. What fun you are about to have in school today, Anjali? Tell, tell. Why my child is so sad today? Because of me, no, I'm so upset today, Papa. There's no need to be upset. Stay away from her. Do remember. Always be with those people who like you and with whom you love to play always. Don't give any chance to Minu to irritate you. Father's wise words used to work on Anjali like a battery. Once battery got charged, Anjali was ready to face any battle. Huh. Going to school was no less than a battle for Anjali. After all, Anjali the warrior had to face Minu. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. You poor frog-eyed girl. What have you brought in Tiffin today? <laughs> you better don't irritate me. Go away from here. As much Anjali was afraid from Minu in school, that much she found pleasure in meeting her three friends, Raju, Chutki and Varun. Always used to be with Anjali, used to help her. And when Minu troubled Anjali, these three friends of hers never liked it. Whenever Minu used to trouble Anjali, Varun always used to tell Anjali to teach her a lesson. Varun didn't like quiet nature of Anjali at all. You also should have pushed her, Anjali. 
Why you always remain so quiet? Father always says better ignore me now. Today we'll complain against her to teacher. No, come, let's go. There were only two reasons for Anjali to go to school. First one was to meet her three best friends, to study a bit and have lots of fun with them. And second reason was to share tasty lunch prepared by her mother with her three best friends. Everyone used to feel very hungry after Seema Mem's classes of craft and music. And during recess, all of them used to run for lunch. Oh, lunch box of poor girl fell on the ground. Now what will she eat? <laughs> but naughty Minu used to harass Anjali anyhow by causing some or the other trouble. You naughty girl, I shall teach you a lesson. Wait, Chitki, ignore her. Let her go. That Minu always harasses you. And you always leave her like that. This is not right, Anjali. If you always leave her like this, then she will keep harming you even more. But Anjali was after all daughter of her father. She never gave Minu a hard-hitting reply and always stopped her friends too from doing this. Father says, more we will focus on Minu's actions, more she will trouble us. And by hitting her or replying to her, we will become just like her. And we don't want to be like her. Come now, class is about to start. It's okay, you can eat from my tiffin. Minu used to harass Anjali daily and Anjali didn't like it at all. To tolerate like this. One day, Anjali thought that whether by agreeing to her father's words, is she doing right? In the meantime, Seema teacher's class started. Perhaps that day attending Seema ma'am's class was turning point of her life, which changed everything for Anjali. Children, in tomorrow's class we will learn something very special. For that, you all have to bring your toys along with you. If anyone wants, can bring little plants also to the class. Like this, we will be able to know each other more better. Yay! That day, after reaching home, Anjali thought that today she will clearly tell to her father that she isn't able to tolerate Minu's behavior anymore. Anjali, how come your knee is wounded? It's due to Minu. Today in the morning she pushed me very hard and that's how I got hurt. But, but as you told me, I didn't give any reply to her. Varun said that I should also have pushed her. You did it right, my child. I'm so proud of you, my sweet little daughter. You don't like Minu because she hits you, harasses you and always thinks about herself. Problem won't be solved if in return you hit her because she is Minu and you are Anjali. You are lucky because you have got such lovely friends and you are blessed with wonderful parents too. Maybe possible. Minu isn't blessed with all these. Therefore, don't ever raise your hands on Minu. Anjali found her father's word very wise. She thought there must be some or the other reason for such behavior of Minu. Regarding this matter, I shall talk to Anjali's mother and her teacher Seema. Everyone was waiting for the next day very impatiently. Every child was supposed to come with their soft toys. One night before, Anjali prepared her Apu and Gapu and when she reached school, she found as if the whole class was no less than a zoo. Someone had brought elephant and someone came with a lion. And some came along with tortoise. In class, apart from children, animals like tortoise, bear and lion were also becoming friends. All the kids came to the class and carried their own toys, except for Minu. My, my sweet cat wants to meet your cute Appu and Gappu. Her name is Billu and she is very hungry. 
may be possible she satisfies her hunger by eating appu and gappu anjali thought that today minu's billu will take rest after eating her appu and gappu and then varun shouted loudly uh, a cat take her away i am scared of cats take her away <laughs> someone please help my cat please <laughs> take her down <laughs> Please come down Billu please come down No one stepped forward to help Minu And how could anyone Billu was sitting at such great height No one knew how to climb a tree Anjali became very unhappy by seeing Minu so sad You need not worry Minu Billu got frightened by listening to Varun's voice and by seeing us Anjali started getting ideas after listening to Billu's meow and then idea I've got a wonderful idea with which Billu will instantly come down really Anjali ran to her Seema ma'am teacher teacher can I have some milk from our school's kitchen please I want Minu's Billu to come down from the tree Anjali told everything to her teacher Seema and she asked Kaka to bring some milk for Anjali Thank you to chair. Billu, come. Look, what I've brought for you. Tasty meal filled with cream. Thank you, Anjali. My behavior has always been bad for you. Harassed you, caused you so much harm. Can you please forgive me? It's all right. So will you be my good friend? Of course. And from that day onwards, Anjali and Minu are best friends. Not only Anjali and Minu are best friends with everyone, and their friendship is famous in the entire school. That day, Anjali realized that her father was right. Behaving bad with a bad person won't solve any problem. Good deeds and behavior done by us can make a person realize about their bad behavior. Happy Diwali which is the most favorite festival of the kids Yes you got it right Diwali Diwali is all about new clothes colorful lamps lightings lots of delicious dishes sweets and lots of crackers The day of Diwali has its own magical charm Gattu Chinki were also waiting for Diwali There were 5 days left for Diwali but still both of them were disturbing the poor calendar by looking at it every day Gattu Chinki Diwali won't come soon even if you check every day it will come after 5 days It would have been great if it would have come on the same day we wanted it to come Stop it and come out of the dream world Today all of us together will clean the house then we will prepare lots of dishes for Diwali We have to do shopping and there are lots of works to be done and we all have to do this together. Don't worry mom, we are ready. Then what? That day mom, dad, Gattu and Chinki together cleaned the house and it started looking brand new. The house is looking brand new. Yes, just by seeing it, my mood is getting refreshed. Our festivals and traditions are really great. Every festival begins with the happiness of the mind. This tradition of cleaning the house before Diwali must have started only to refresh the mind. Yes, son. If the environment around us is clean and neat, then we like to stay there. So be it Diwali or not, always keep your home your school and your office clean and beautiful then one day everyone went to the market and brought new clothes a lot of ration gattu chinki's favorite crackers diwali gifts and a lot of decoration items on the second day dad and gattu together decorated the whole house the house became colorful with sky candles and lighting Then Gattu, Chinki and Dad also helped Mom to prepare a lot of special dishes for Diwali such as laddu, farsan and a lot of sweets. Children always remember making Diwali dishes is not only something that women do 
men should also help them because the festival belongs to all of us then everyone should also do the work right and finally the day came for which gattu chinki and all the children of the society were eagerly waiting the day of lakshmi puja that is the day of diwali gattu chinki got up early in the morning took bath after applying ubtan and got ready by wearing their new clothes mom and chinki started making rangoli together and gattu along with dad started offering torans made of mango leaf and marigold flowers to all the doors of the house then mom served the dishes to everyone on the occasion of diwali some friends and colleagues of dad and many people and children of the society had come to their house then it was evening and mom started preparation for the worship ritual ma lakshmi was established the idol of lakshmi mata was very beautiful and attractive it was night and the muhurta for lakshmi poojan began together they worshiped mata lakshmi duly dad gave some money and mom offered gold and silver ornaments and utensils at the feet of goddess lakshmi and together they took blessings from the goddess mata lakshmi is the goddess of wealth happiness and prosperity money is as important in life as knowledge we should have respect and loyalty towards money that we earn by our hard work because money does not only fulfill our daily needs but it is most useful in times of trouble so whether it be money or any kind of wealth it should be used judiciously worshiping goddess lakshmi means being grateful for our wealth and also promising for its proper use everything happened and gattu chinki's ears heard what their ears were yearning to hear obviously bhai, the sound of firecrackers fire box were going up in the sky the whole city was reverberating with the sound of firecrackers gattu chinki also came down with their firecrackers and started bursting crackers with the children of the society there were a lot of firecrackers with low noise like small bombs fuljadi chakri etc and they seemed to enjoy it suddenly hari took out a chakri and said oh man i have this big chakri there will be no fun on the ground let's do one thing i will light it by placing it on the roof of the car parked in front it will be fun to watch if the wheel rotates and let's make a video of it then holding a match and a chakri in his hand hari started going towards the car when gattu stopped him stop hari what happened gattu hari today is lakshmi puja and this is a car that means she is lakshmi of someone's house of our own society if we will burn crackers on it then it will not only be an insult but also it will be in damage there is flammable fuel like diesel petrol in the car what if the car caught fire by mistake every year on the second day of diwali news runs about damage no hurry diwali is the festival of goddess lakshmi we have to celebrate this festival of ours thoughtfully not to spread darkness in our lives and others lives even by mistake sorry gattu it's good that you stopped me otherwise i don't know what would have happened Let us first blow the fire crackers that are left and then we will see what to do with this cracker later. Then what? Leaving the car hurry came back to the children and the kids started enjoying Diwali by bursting fire crackers. The result of stealing. Monu always used to handle his toys very carelessly. One day While playing, he broke his brand new remote control toy car. During evening when his parents were having their meal, he went near them and started insisting for a new car. "Dad, I want a brand new remote control car." "But last week we purchased a new one for you. That car was not good. It broke as soon as I started playing with it." "No, Mono. You never take care of your toys." As soon we buy something you break it. Now you won't get a new car. And you better don't argue with us on this topic. Saying this, his father got up and left from there. Monu was very angry on his parents. 
Anyhow, he wanted a new car for himself. And then a wicked idea came into his mind. During night, when everyone was sleeping, he went to his parents' room and stole some money. Next day, while coming back from the school, Monu went into a toy shop and purchased his favorite car. Two thieves who were standing nearby saw all of it. They became happy by seeing so much money with a little boy. Oh, what a great day! This boy is such an easy prey for us. Let's go, brother. Both the thieves started following Monu. After some distance, there was a deserted place. By seeing the opportunity, the thieves went near him. Hey, kid! Come on, hand over all the money to us. No, this money belongs to me. But soon this money will be ours. Give it to us fast. By threatening Monu, thieves took all the money from him. And in the middle of this, his car broke. Monu started regretting for what all he did. He put the broken car inside his bag and came back to his home. He thought not to tell anyone about what all happened, otherwise he'll be scolded. What will I do now? I can't tell anything to mom and dad, otherwise they will scold me more. But in the house, Monu was about to get some other surprise. As soon as he reached home, his father gifted him a new toy car and said, Sorry my son, I shouldn't have said no to you. Often kids break their toys. Later I realized I didn't behave properly. Therefore for you, I purchased a remote controlled car. Keep this. Hearing this, Mono started crying loudly. What happened son? Why are you crying? While crying, he told the entire incident to his parents. I am so sorry, mommy and daddy. I stole money from you and purchased a new car. But, but the thieves stole the money from me and even broke my new car. Monu's parents understood that Monu had got punishment for his deed. Therefore, they forgave him and explained him lovingly. Son, to steal anything is very bad act. Thank God the thieves didn't cause any harm to you. From now onwards, don't ever do this. Monu realized his mistake. He promised never to steal anything. Red Color Car Long time ago, six years old Gatu lived in a city with his parents and grandfather. He had a friend named Bunty whose father was very wealthy. Often he used to pamper Bunty by bringing new toys for him. Whereas Gatu's parents were very poor. They didn't have that much money with them to present Gatu with new toys. Therefore, Gatu had only one old toy car with him. One day, while returning from school, suddenly, on the way, Gatu saw a beautiful red-colored car near his house. After seeing the car, he thought, Oh wow! This car is so beautiful! Whose is this? He went near the car and picked it up. Then he looked here and there, but nobody was around. There's no one here. So for the time being, I shall keep it with me, and when its owner will come searching for it, then I will return this toy to him. Thinking this, he took the car with himself. Now after returning from school, he started playing with it every day. And with time, got to forgot that this car doesn't belong to him. Like this, many days passed. And one day, when he was sitting outside his house, two kids named Chintu and Pintu were passing from there. You know, Pintu, my father bought me a very beautiful red-colored car, but don't know where I've lost it. You've lost it? But how? I don't know. I was going to my uncle's house from this way only. But when I reached and checked my bag, I found it was open. 
then I'm sure you've lost your car on the way. After hearing their conversation, Gatu understood that the red-colored car which he found outside his house was of Chintu. I completely forgot that one day I have to return this car. With sad heart, he picked up that car and started walking to where Chintu's house. On reaching Chintu's house, he found him sitting outside his house playing with many toy cars of his. After seeing this, he said, Oh wow, Chintu has so many beautiful cars with him. And I have only one car. And that too, so old. Even if I don't return this red car to him, then also it won't make a difference to him. Therefore, I can actually keep this red car with me. Thinking this, he came back to his house with the red car. That evening, as usual, his grandfather was helping him with his homework. Greed is not good at all. Gatu, do you have any idea how bad greed is? No, Grandpa. The meaning of greed is to think someone else thing as if it is your own. But, Grandpa, if we find something very exciting, and if we want that thing to become ours, then what's wrong with it? My child's sin is in the way to make that thing to be yours. How come, Grandpa? You know, first of all, greed occurs in our heart. Then to satisfy that greed which has occurred, we resort to nasty ways. Like you see, stealing. Then with that small greed which has occurred, we become a thief. And you know that greed is, somewhere or the other, starting point of every evil. Therefore, greed in all the sins is the biggest of all. Grandpa is saying it right. It's due to greed only that I kept Chintu's car with me. And I became a thief. Thinking this, he immediately went to Chintu's house and returned that car to Chintu. Therefore, with Grandpa's wise words, Gatu got to know the real meaning of greed and from that moment on, by controlling his greed, he never did anything wrong. Reward for Honesty Long time ago, Gatu lived in a city with his poor parents. He studied in second standard. Along with studies, he was very fond of pencils of different designs and colorful erasers too. By watching other students having different kinds of erasers and pencils, he also wished to have those with him. Mom, like other students, I want colorful pencils and erasers. But, due to lack of money, his parents always refused him. Son, pencils and razors are too expensive and we don't have that much money with us. Therefore, now Gattu stopped asking his parents for pencil and eraser. But he constantly kept thinking about it. One day, even I will have many wonderful pencils and erasers. Like this, many days passed. One day, while returning from school, on the back road of his school, he saw three different colored pencils and three different colored erasers too. Oh wow! These pencils and erasers are so beautiful! Saying this, he picked them up. Wow! The fragrance from this rubber is nice! But whose are these? He looked around here and there, but he found no one. There's nobody here. I think I should keep these with me. Thinking this, he put all of them in his bag and returned home. During evening, while doing his homework, he remembered. I have those new pencils and aromatic erasers too. Today, I will complete my homework with them. He took out those pencils and erasers from his bag and started doing his homework. And suddenly, his mother came over there. Gattu, what are you doing? Mom, I'm doing my school homework with these pencils and aromatic eraser. But who gave you this pencil and eraser? Mom, 
When I was returning back from school, on the back road of school, I found three pencils and three erasers. And you kept all of them? Yes, mom. This is very wrong, Gattu. You shouldn't have picked them up, son. But mom, there was nobody around. I'm sure while returning from school, they must have fallen from someone's bag. You better give them to the principal tomorrow. But mom, these are extremely nice. I always wanted these kinds of pencil and erasers. Got to. Greed can land anyone in trouble, you know. So we should be honest always. And if these kind of pencil and erasers are in your destiny, then sooner or later, you will have them anyhow. On his mother's explanation, got to understood. As you say, mom. Next day, along with those pencils and erasers, Gattu went to the principal's room and he said to the principal, Principal, sir, I found these pencils and erasers in the back road of the school. Please keep them and give these to whoever they belong to. Very nice, Gattu. I appreciate your honesty. Everyone should be as honest as you are. Gattu was delighted on hearing principal's words and went from there. Principal called the peon and said, Go to each and every class and tell everybody that someone found three beautiful pencils and three aromatic erasers. He has deposited them with me. Therefore, whoever they belong to shall come and collect them from me quickly. Peon did the same. When Pintu, who was classmate of Gattu, got to know about this, he thought, those are my pencils and erasers. I shall go right now and collect them from principal, sir. He came out of the class and headed towards principal's room. While on his way to the principal's room, he thought, I lost all hopes of getting back my pencils and erasers. But look how easily I'm about to get them back. Thinking this, he went to the principal's room. Principal, sir, those are my pencils and erasers. All right, Pintu. Take your pencils and erasers back. On seeing his lost pencil and erasers, Pintu became greedy and he thought, If I'm getting my pencils and erasers back, then why should I take only three pencils and erasers? I shall take five pencils and erasers. And he said to the principal, Principal, sir, these are only three pencils and three erasers. Whereas, I lost five pencils and five erasers. What? Yes, Principal, sir. I have been cheated. On hearing this, Principal became very angry. Immediately, he called the peon. Raju, call Gattu in my office quickly. Peon called Gattu quickly and Principal asked him. Gattu, how many pencils and erasers you found? Sir, I found three pencils and three erasers. But Pintu is saying that. He lost five pencils and five erasers. So where are the remaining two pencils and erasers? I do not have any idea, sir. Whatever I found, I gave it to you. And then Pintu said, Sir, I'm sure he is lying. He must have kept the remaining pencils and erasers with him. No, sir. I'm telling you the truth. And if I was supposed to steal pencils and erasers, then I would have kept them all with me. Why would I return you three pencils and erasers? How come we know how you did all this? The principal asked them to keep quiet and said, Gattu is saying it right. If he had to keep those pencils and erasers, then he wouldn't have returned any of those. He would have kept all of them. But sir, my pencils and erasers. Pintu, you lost five pencils and erasers. This means that the pencils and erasers which Gattu found don't belong to you. And since no one still came to claim these pencils and erasers, therefore, being happy with Gattu's honesty, all these three pencils and erasers I'm giving now to Gattu. Gattu was delighted on hearing this. He stepped forward and collected all the three pencils and erasers. Thank you, sir. Whereas Pintu was saddened by seeing all this because he knew that in front of him his pencils and erasers were being given to someone else. And he also knew that by telling the truth, now he will be punished severely by the principal. Therefore, he chose to keep quiet at the moment. Oh God, out of greed, what have I done? And this way, 
Gattu got a reward for his honesty and Pintu got punished for his greed. See children, with this story we learn that we should never be greedy. Baby's Makeup Part 2 In a city, there lived a girl named Baby with her mom and dad. Baby's father used to go to the office and mother was the housewife. Along with this, her mother used to run a beauty parlor. She had a small parlor in their house itself. And the women of the neighborhood used to come to her to enhance their beauty. This is about one summer. During the summer holidays, Baby used to spend a lot of time with her mom in her parlor. She used to play with the things of the parlor and also used to look after her mother's work. Summer means the wedding season. During those days, her mother used to have a lot of women around in the parlor and she used to get really upset after managing baby along with the women. Baby, I have told you a thousand times, don't touch anything that belongs to the parlor. What happened mom? I can't find the brush. But I never touched the brush. I know, while playing you must have kept it somewhere and now you have forgotten about it. Don't worry mom. I will help you in finding the brush. No need. I will find it. You go. Play with your friends. Poor baby got angry. She wanted to see her mother's work. Whenever any customer came to the parlor to get a facial or makeup done, they used to get really happy after seeing the workmanship of her mother. Wow! I look so beautiful. There's magic in your hands. Hearing this, along with her mother, baby also got happy and also got impressed with her mother. One day, baby was gossiping with her friend. When I grow up, I will become an IPS officer. I will become an actress. Baby, you say, what will you become when you grow up? I, I will become a beauty parlor owner like my mother. Friends started laughing after hearing this from baby. Oh, why are you laughing? Actresses and IPS officers don't do makeup or what? Do you know how good my mom is at doing makeup? I will also become the best parlor owner in the world like her and earn a lot of money. Such were the dreams of the baby, just as cute as her. A woman named Miss Briganza used to come to her mother's parlor. Miss Briganza was bitter and angry woman. Whenever Miss Briganza used to come, Baby would run out of the parlor. Not only Baby, her mother was also afraid of Miss Briganza. What are these? Why these eyebrows are not done properly? And why do you use these kinds of cheap products? And what is the purpose of your child in the parlor? From the next time, I don't want to see her in the parlor. Understood? Such was Miss Briganza, the villain of our story. One day, mom had brought a lot of expensive makeup items from the market and went out leaving it in the parlor. Taking advantage of the opportunity, baby came to the parlor with her friends and started playing with stuff lying around. Suddenly, one of her friends' attention fell on the makeup items brought by the mother. Wow, makeup items! Hey, it's all there. Baby, you want to be a parlor owner like your mom, right? So today you have to do our makeup with these makeup items. No, no, mom will get angry. Just do a little bit, your mom won't get to know. And then, baby agreed and started doing their makeup with the stuff her mom had brought. Just the way her mom would do. Wow, we are done here. Now it's your turn. Two of her friends started doing her makeup. And they finished all the makeup stuff while playing. When her mother came to the parlor, she saw that all the makeup items were over. Seeing the makeup on the baby's face, her mother understood everything. Sorry, mom. We finished all the stuff while playing. Sorry, mom. Sorry. But her mother did not say a single word to baby. She stood upset. Five minutes later, Miss Briganza came. Seeing her, baby hid behind mom. Come on, I'm getting late for the wedding. Do my makeup quickly. When her mom told Miss Briganza about the makeup items, Miss Briganza got furious. What did you say? 
you're out of makeup items, do you run a parlor or a vegetable stall? This is your forever drama. You just spoiled my mood. We had to go to this wedding. Now how am I supposed to go looking like this? I will complain about you. And I won't pay a single penny of yours. I'm closing your account from today. Ms. Brigenza scolded mom even more. And then she left. Baby realized her mistake. Her mother was crying. Before baby could say anything to her mom, she left. For the next two days, baby's mother did not talk to her. She just kept crying. On the third day, the baby went to her mother and said, Mom, mom, please talk to me. From today, I will never touch any of the makeup items. I promise. I have learned a lesson that one should not touch someone's belongings without their permission. I have seen. Otherwise, what happens? Mom, please. Hearing this, her mother's heart melted and she hugged baby and started crying. Gattu Chinki's maternal grandparents' home, the summer vacation was going on. Gattu and Chinki used to play with the children of their society throughout the day. One evening, after playing with their friends, when they came back home, they saw their mom happily talking to dad. Mom, what's the matter? Why are you smiling? It's because the matter is so exciting. Your grandmother had called and she has invited us. Tomorrow we all are going to the maternal grandfather's house. Hearing this, Gattu and Chinki were very happy. Yay! Let's start packing. Let's go to the maternal grandfather's house and enjoy. And then, the next morning, Gattu, Chinki and mom dad left for their maternal grandfather's house by train, taking lots of luggage with them. Gattu Chinki's maternal grandfather's house was in a very small and beautiful village where everyone used to work in their farms and live happily. Their maternal grandfather's house was also very beautiful. When Gattu Chinki reached there, their maternal grandfather, grandmother, maternal uncle and auntie and her mother's sister and her husband was ready to welcome them. Everyone wanted to keep Gattu Chinki with them. Gattu Chinki, come to me. I have brought tamarind for you. Yes, come on, we will go to the farm. Your uncle has prepared a swing for you. Come here, if you want to play with the swing. Come, we will play with the swing. Thus, all of them wanted to play with their beloved Gattu Chinki. But Gattu Chinki did not go to anyone. They went straight to their maternal grandparents and wrapped their hands around them. Then, after washing hands and eating a delicious meal made by their granny, Gattu Chinki took rest for a while and then they were ready to enjoy their holidays at their maternal grandparents' house. Take this. I have made a special tamarind shake for both of you. Drink it quickly. You will get relief from heat. Auntie, what is tamarind shake? Tamarind shake means tamarind juice. Just like lemon or gooseberry shake, this is tamarind shake made with tamarinds. We consume this during summer. After drinking the tamarind shake made by aunt, Gattu and Chinki felt refreshed. Uncle had hung a big swing on the mango tree. Gattu and Chinki sat down on the swing and started swinging, laughing and talking in the air. Uncle plugged some raw mangoes from the tree and auntie applied chili masala to them and served those to Gattu Chinki. Seeing the raw mango, water came in the mouth of Gattu Chinki and they ate all the raw mangoes in a jiffy. After sunset at 4 o'clock, Gattu and Chinki left for the field with their maternal uncle. The farm was quite green and happy. Both cattle and buffaloes were watching Gattu and Chinki. Along with their maternal uncle, Gattu Chinki gave grass to all the animals and had a lot of fun with calves and took out selfies. Later, their maternal uncle took out milk of cows and buffaloes and fed fresh milk to Gattu and Chinki. Wow, uncle, it's really fun. By evening, Gattu and Chinki came home with their maternal uncle and started spending time with their maternal grandfather. Come on, Gattu Chinki. Let's go. I will show you the village and introduce you to my friends too. Then in the evening, Gattu Chinki went out for a walk in the village with their maternal grandfather and also met his friends. 
started laughing along with grandparents seeing that gattu and chinki got confused why are you all laughing did we say something wrong <laughs> no son you did not say anything wrong we live in a small village how will we have ac but here we have such an ac that nobody in your city has Gattu and Chinki were shocked to hear this. What such AC do you have? <laughs> the natural AC. There are lots of trees and greenery in the village because of which the cool breeze flows throughout the night. We won't sleep indoors. We will sleep under the sky on the terrace and enjoy the natural AC. Hearing this, Gattu and Chinki got excited. Their uncle and auntie put a mattress on the roof and everything was set. Grandma, I will sleep next to you. Me too. <laughs> yes, yes. Both of you will sleep next to me. And then, in the cool air under the open sky, Gattu and Chinki slept next to their grandmother listening to her bedtime stories. Both of them slept calmly and sweetly. TV told IPL. IPL matches had started. Papa had taken leave for some days from the office. Mom had also completed her work fast and accompanied Papa to watch IPL on TV. They had chosen their own teams and were fighting over each other's team. Did you see how my team is smashing and defeating your team? Oh, don't boast of winning a toss is not everything. Our batting is still awaited. Let's see, let's see. By the way, last time you are also telling so. Gattu and Chinki were disturbed because neither mom and papa were taking care of them due to IPL, nor were they allowed to watch their favorite cartoon serials. Papa, switch over to cartoon. What? Why are you seeking cartoon always? Watch the match. How they are smashing and defeating each other. Papa, we don't understand IPL. If you can't understand, go out and play. Let us watch the match. Observing such behavior of mom and papa, Gattu and Chinki become angry and leave the place. I shall surely close this IPL. IPL has taken away everything from us. Don't be angry, brother. Let's play something else. But what is there to play with? Nobody brings us new toy to. We have a bat and ball, isn't it? Let us play cricket. Gattu is outraged to learn about bat and ball. Cricket is there only one game left to play in this world. Bring the bat and ball to me. I shall play such a way in such a way that mom and papa will see me on TV. Chinky brings bat and ball for Gattu. Furiously Gattu takes the bat in his hand and takes his position. Chinky takes to bowling. Here comes the first ball. Here I raise my bat and it is a sixer. Saying so, Gattu swerves his bat and it confirms a six. Ball touches the bat with the speed of wind and vanishes. 
then comes the cracking sound of glass. Chinkies and Gattu's mind is blown away. They rush towards the hall and find that the TV is lying scattered all over the floor. And Papa and Mummy were standing perplexed. Gattu was also frightened to see this. Papa, I have not done this knowingly. This happened in a spree to get sick, sir. Brother, you were to be seen on the TV. But you have not even left the TV to be watchable. Gattu was trembling badly. He thought that he will be thrashed now. He prepared himself for the thrashing. But Papa shouted at once. Sachin! Wow, Sachin! No, my son will be Kohli, Virat Kohli. Listening to it, Gattu and Chinky were taken aback. Wow, Gattu, wow! You have proved that you are my son. I used to break the window seals of others' house, but you have broken the TV itself. Wow, what a shot it would have been. Papa, you are not angry? Oh my son, I am proud that a Sachin has been born in my house. And Chinky, what a bowling you do. Try to be a cricketer in future. Go, let's play a match. Anyway, I was bored to see IPL. What rubbish they play. My children play better than them. Before Gattu and Chinky could understand anything, Papa and Mummy dragged them to the ground. There will be two teams, me and Gattu. Chinky and me, done? Done. Shall we toss? A coin is tossed in the air. Mummy and Chinky win the toss. Mummy helps herself with a bat and Papa does the bowling and Gattu fields. Papa throws the ball towards Mummy. Mummy picks the bat and moves it in the air. The bat remains in the air and Papa's ball hits the wicket. Mummy is clean bowled. Out! Yeah! Chinky starts to bat. Papa bowls. She makes it a four. And Gattu catches it. Out! Thus, Mummy and Chinky's team is out in zero without making a run. The whole neighbourhood rushed towards the ground, leaving the TV aside. The ground fills with spectators. With his bat in his hand, Gattu comes out to the ground. Best of luck, my son. Gattu moves his bat in the air and people cheer with joy. Gattu! 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 The ground resounds with the name of Gattu. Gattu takes his position. Mummy throws the ball. Gattu moves the bat in the air and throws the ball in the air. The ball flies straight and hits the window of Mr. Sharma. It breaks into pieces. No problem. You play. You are the Sachin of our street. Thus, Gattu strikes every ball and frightens everyone with his fours and sixes. And in this way, Gattu alone wins the match for Papa. Papa lifts up Gattu on his shoulder and the whole street starts to dance and cheer. Gattu! 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 Gattu, get up. You have to go to school. Complete your homework. Till when are you going to sleep? And then, Gattu wakes up from his sleep suddenly. Mummy, is that TV in good condition? It is all right. What can happen to the TV? Where is Papa? He has gone to the office. Oh my, I think I was dreaming. What sort of dream? Let me also know. Gattu, Gattu. Gattu walked silently towards the bathroom. He does not answer his mom. How could he say anything? The dream was such that it could never happen. Fast food and grandmother's parathas. One Sunday, mom took Gattu and Chinky for shopping in a mall. After doing a lot of shopping, they got hungry. So their mom said, Children, aren't you hungry? It will be too late if we go home and then eat. Let's eat something in the mall. Saying this, mom took both of them to the fast food corner of the mall and said, So kids, what will you eat? Burger! Mom ordered burgers and she also started eating burgers with the kids. Gattu Chinky loved burgers very much. They wanted to eat more. So their mom said, 
eating more burgers is not a good thing. Mom, please. Mom thought that the kids don't eat burger every day, so she ordered more burgers. And after eating the burgers, three of them came home. Mom made dinner, which included lentils, chapati, vegetable, rice, and salad. And then, when mom and dad sat down for dinner, dad called the kids. Gattu, Chinki, come. The dinner is ready. Gattu, Chinki came and said, "Dad, we are not hungry. We are going to sleep." Saying this, both of them went to sleep without eating, and their dad got tensed. Why aren't the kids hungry? Don't worry. They have eaten two burgers at the mall. Eating burgers is not a good thing. They don't get to eat burgers every day. Don't worry, have your food. The next morning, mummy got up and prepared lunch box for Gattu Chinki, and then Gattu Chinki went to school with that tiffin. Both of them came home from school, and after giving their lunch boxes to their mom, they went to freshen up. Mummy was shocked to see both of their lunch boxes. She called Gattu Chinki, and when Gattu Chinki came, she said, "What is this? Why didn't you finish lunch, Mom?" Today was Bunty's birthday. He had ordered burgers for us. Our stomach was full after eating the burgers. That is why we could not eat lunch. Oh, but I had prepared your favorite lunch today. Everything got wasted. We only like burgers. Nothing else. At dinner, Gattu Chinki refused to eat homemade food. They started nagging for burger to their father. Gattu, Chinki, eat the food. I have made your favorite palak paneer today. No, we want to eat burgers. We want burgers. Son, eating burgers is not good for health. If not burgers, give us pizza. But we will not eat homemade food. In this way, Gattu and Chinki were adamant, and Mom Dad had to bow down to them. Papa ordered pizza and Gattu Chinki went to sleep after eating pizza. In this way, Gattu Chinki got used to fast food. They did not like eating home cooked food. They used to eat pizza and burgers whenever they felt hungry. One day, when Gattu and Chinki started having stomach pains, their father took them to the hospital. Seeing the reports of Gattu Chinki, the doctor said, "Their digestive system is deteriorating rapidly. It is not a good thing at this young age." When their father told the doctor everything, the doctor said, "Son, fast food affects the body. Chemicals are used in preparing them. Chemicals are harmful for us. Fast food has many other side effects. So eat only homemade food." Gattu Chinki became weak due to stomach pain. They stopped eating pizza burger at the doctor's advice, but they lost their appetite. They could not even eat the home cooked food properly. Come on, have this hot dal khichdi. You will get strength. I do not feel like eating anything. If I will eat forcefully, I will vomit out everything. Gattu Chinki's condition was getting worse day by day, and their parents were getting upset. That's when Grandma arrived from the village. Mom told Grandma everything, and she started crying. I just don't understand. Now what should I do? I have come now. I will fix everything. Grandma started making potato parathas in the kitchen. The smell of the parathas went into Gattu Chinki's room, and lifeless, weak Gattu Chinki got some strength. Seems like something special is being prepared in the kitchen. Let's go and see. When Gattu and Chinki ran into the kitchen, Grandma served them hot parathas with desi ghee. And Gattu Chinki started eating parathas, and the taste of their mouths returned. Wow, grandmother, these are even tastier than pizza burgers. Yes, and much more healthier than pizza burgers. These are just potato parathas. There are many more types of parathas that I can cook well. So, will you make different types of parathas for us every day? Yes, I will make parathas for you every day, and will teach your mom too. And then, Gattu Chinki ate parathas. Grandmother's parathas brought back their appetite, and Gattu Chinki bid goodbyes to fast food forever. 
Gattu's first flight. Summer vacation was going on. Gattu Chinki were bored sitting at home. The sun was strong outside, so mom was forbidding them to play outside. So Gattu Chinki were bored. I'm bored sitting back at home. There are still one and a half month left for the summers to end. Don't know how we will spend so many days sitting back at home. Thus, a few days passed by, and one evening, suddenly, Dad dropped a bomb. Oh no! Not a real one. It was a surprise bomb. Children, after four days, we are going for a trip to Kullu Manali. Hearing this, Gattu Chinki were surprised. Really, Dad? Yes, hundred percent true. Wow, Dad! You suddenly gave us a big surprise today. Seeing the excitement of Gattu Chinki, Dad said, "Wait, wait! Hold your excitement, kids. The second bomb is on its way." And the second bomb? Hurry up, Dad! We can't wait any more. <laughs> After listening, you will start flying in the air. Now, just tell us, Dad, what's the big secret? Then listen. We are not going to go to Kullu Manali by any traveler bus or train, but by flight. The second surprise bomb was so strong that Gattu Chinki could not believe it. Dad, you are not lying, right? No, children. He is telling the truth only. He has even booked flight tickets for the four of us already. Yes, we will be going to Kullu Manali by flying and return back flying. Hearing this, Gattu Chinki were super excited. They started flying here and there in the house, and within seconds, they ran out of the house. Hey, children, where are you going now? Let them go. They are so happy that they cannot contain this happiness to themselves. Must be going to tell Hari and Gaddi. You are absolutely right. Both of them were going crazy. They were so bored sitting back at home. It is good that you planned this trip for Kullu Manali. Really? Just the kids were getting bored. You were not getting bored. Stop messing. Let's not joke now. After four days, we have to leave. Let's start packing. When Gattu Chinki came home, both of them started packing their own stuff, and in no time, both of them got ready with their heavy bags. When Dad saw both of their bags, he was surprised. So many heavy bags. What have you kept in these bags? Nothing, Dad. Clothes, towel, blanket, mat, toys, and books. Shoes, sandals, piggy bank, and everything. Kids, we are going there for a couple of days. We are not going to settle there. Take out everything immediately and take what you need. What luggage do they have anyway? Just their clothes. Gattu Chinki, put your clothes in our bags. Gattu Chinki got angry on hearing this. Why, Mom? Why can't we take all our stuff? Taking too much luggage is not allowed on the flight. How will the plane fly with so much of your heavy baggage with so many loads on the ship? Think about it from this perspective. And anyway, over there we are going to stay in a hotel. Towel, blanket, everything will be available there. Then why should we carry the burden there? We are just going to enjoy over there. Gattu Chinki agreed to the words of their parents, and after removing all the items, they put the necessary things in the bag of their parents. Three days passed, and finally the day had arrived, which Gattu Chinki were eagerly waiting for. Today, for the first time in life, Gattu Chinki were about to fly in an aeroplane. Both were very happy and excited. Everyone reached the airport by taxi. Gattu Chinki had seen the airport many times from outside, but they were seeing it from inside for the first time. The airport was big and beautiful. There was a huge crowd of people running here and there. Still, there was not much dirt to be seen. The airport was very clean and beautiful. Dad, there's so much dirt on the bus stop and railway station, and look, it's so clean in here. Children, we are the people who spread dirt. But be it bus stops or airports, we should not spread dirt anywhere because all these services are only for us. We should take care of them by becoming good citizens. Everyone's ID tickets were checked at the gate, and they were let inside. Inside. Baggage checking, body scanning, and other formalities were completed. 
and Gattu Chinki's aircraft was also standing on the runway. Gattu Chinki sat in the bus with mom dad. Why are we sitting on the bus? Are we going to Kullu Manali by bus? Hearing this, mom dad started laughing. <laughs> hey, this bus will drop us to the aircraft. Then what? The bus reached near the ship. Gattu Chinki were watching the airplane so closely for the first time. It was quite huge. Wow! Let's take a selfie. Dad took a selfie with the airplane and everyone took their seats in the plane. Gattu had got a window seat, so Chinki was upset. Don't worry, I will sit here for the half of the journey and later you sit here. Seeing the wisdom of the children, their parents were happy. After a while, there was an announcement. Everyone sat ready wearing their seat belts and soon Gattu Chinki's flight took off in the air. The airplane was floating in the sky above 20,000 feet. Only clouds were visible from the window. It was a beautiful sight. In between, the air hostess was coming, serving breakfast, juice and chocolates. Gattu Chinki's stomach got full after eating and drinking. I have decided that I will become a pilot when I grow up and I will become an air hostess. Okay kids, be whatever you want to. But first look at that cloud. See how big it is. Gattu Chinki saw a cloud outside the window and soon both of them also got lost in the cloud and started dreaming of touching the clouds while sitting in the plane. Gattu Chinki's routine had just become like you. From home to school, from school to home and then tuition classes. And mom dad's condition was also the same. From morning till night, mom used to run for everyone and dad used to stay in the office throughout the day. But nothing like that was going to happen this Sunday. Because the Sunday has refreshed everyone's mood. After a whole week, we are sitting together peacefully. It will be really fun today. Hmm, I think today we should have fun by leaving our whole schedule behind. Why don't we play hide and seek today? What do you think, mom? What's the big deal in that? I play hide and seek every day and there's no one to find me. It's not like that. When I come home from school, I always come looking for you. Hey dad, should we play or not? We'll see. When dad said this, poor Gattu Chinki's mood got spoiled. Gattu Chinki were going towards their room after finishing their lunch. That's when they saw dad standing in front of their room busy on his phone. Gattu Chinki started moving forward without saying anything to him. That's when dad said, Hey, why are you leaving? We have to play, don't we? Yay! Uh, are, you, are you serious, dad? Yes, of course. Thanks, dad. But where is mom? That's when mom came from behind and she scared the children saying Dhappa. Dhappa! Oh mom, I, I really got scared. My childhood friend Meena also used to get scared of this. That poor thing used to look somewhere else and I used to come from somewhere else and scare her saying Dhappa. That's nothing in front of my story. If you listen mine, you will never play with me. Well, what do you used to do? When I used to play hide and seek with my friends, I used to hide in such places that till evening no one could find me. Even today, no one can find me. Listen to mine first. Mom, Dad, that's it. How many stories you will tell? We have to play now. Of course, let's go. It's 2 o'clock. I have to go to a meeting in the evening. Come on, tell me who will hide and who will find. Get to. Gattu will find all of us. That was his idea, right? Alright, I will find you all. You all go and hide. One, two... Hey, it's cheating. Let us hide first. Okay, okay, go. Everyone ran here and there to hide. Gattu kept counting. Eight, nine, ten... I'm coming! Yahoo! Gattu slowly started looking for everyone. At first, he could not find anyone. But then mom was found hiding under the dining table. Gattu went to her calmly and said, Hey mom, this is your hiding place. Gattu, my baby. I'll tell you a secret. I don't know how to hide. Do one thing. 
leave me and go find your dad that will be quite challenging and don't tell your father that i have told you to do so tell him i couldn't find mom and all i could find was you get to understood mom's mischief and left silently the confusion was how to find dad because dad was quite talented in hiding at the same time he had to be alert because chinky could jump from anywhere and say dhappa to gattu like a cat gattu searched for dad a lot still he could not find him idea gattu took out his mobile and made a call to dad yes hello gattu tell me what happened got you dad got you yay dad was hiding in the store room buried under a lot of stuff gattu this is cheating you called me so i got caught no no it's your fault you know we were playing and anything can happen in the game you should be alert dad you could not get out of the role of dad that's why you got caught hearing this dad started laughing and then mom came along you got caught i knew you could not hide for too long hey why did you come out you could have saved me dad mom was already been caught before you let's find chinky now and end this round she is very clever it will not be easy to find her easily hmm after all whose daughter is she chinky stay alert don't spoil dad's pride and thus gattu started looking for chinky even after searching a lot gattu could not find chinky chinky is really clever i must do some trick where can chinky hide in her room no 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 in the bathroom then gattu came up with a great idea chatter butter eat butter chinky there are flavors in the fridge then where is chinky dad what did you think i can't find my sister wow gattu you played the first round very well we had a lot of fun playing You are absolutely right and we also came to know that papa can no longer hide like before Yes because of work stress and mobile addiction but now you'll see in the next round Mom just get out of the kitchen there are more place to hide in the house And me what shall I do Hearing this Gattu laughed and said <laughs> You just be like that Okay So let's start the second round. Let's go. One, two. Hey, hey! Just listen. You guys go and hide. I will look for all of you. Gattu had caught me earlier. You won't be able to find us. Then it will be evening. You have the meeting then. You will have to go with a bad mood again. No, no. All meetings are cancelled for now. It's Sunday. Let me enjoy this. Let's enjoy. You all go hide. One, two, three. Everyone else ran to hide and thus the second round began Skater Gattu In the evening mom was coming back home after buying vegetables She had a purse in her hand Suddenly a thief came running from behind and snatched mom's purse and ran away Gattu Mom's call echoed again and again in the sky Gattu was chasing the thief on a fast pace. Everyone was looking at Gattu with wide eyes who was skating in style and running after the thief. People had never seen such a scene before. Gattu who was chasing the thief was skating in more actions than a movie star. Mom was smiling looking at Gattu. Gattu had reached very close to the thief. Seeing Gattu behind, the thief increased his speed. So smart, but you can't escape. Gattu also increased his speed, and now he was just about to catch the thief when suddenly, Gattu, wake up! It's eight o'clock. When Gattu opened his eyes, he was neither on the road nor there was a thief in front of him. Gattu was sleeping on the bed, and mom was waking him up. What, mom? You don't let me skate even in my dreams. You are still crazy for the skatings. Get up and get ready for the school. Poor Gattu agreed to mom's advice and got up. 
from last few days mayank bhai of the society and some of his friends were skating in the society every evening gattu used to go to him and watch him skating all the boys used to skate while wearing skating shoes blowing the wind hitting the style seeing them gattu also went crazy about skating gattu skating is not just a sport it's passion as a child i used to think how nice it would be if my feet had wheels i got those wheels from skating today no one can stop me now hearing mayank's words gattu also had a desire to skate but mom wasn't going to agree gattu you are too young now grow up first what if you fall out somewhere and break your bones it will be terrible mom mayank bhaiya was saying come with your skating shoes and i will teach you but mom wasn't going to listen to any of that poor gattu got upset he tried to convince dad too but no one was going to listen to him poor gattu used to see mayank skating every evening and he used to weep from inside one day gattu wore mayank skating shoes and started walking but the poor chap fell while lifting his leg gattu no one learns skating in a day you have to take it training step by step it takes a lot of practice you bring the shoes then it is my responsibility to teach you gattu decided that he would definitely learn skating but then there was a problem mom there is no need you fell yesterday didn't you thank god it didn't hurt much but they say no if you want to achieve something with a sincere heart then the whole universe gathers to help you same miracle happened with gattu one day papa without saying anything or informing anyone brought skating shoes for him and chinki seeing that tears came into gattu's eyes and he immediately went and hugged his father what was the need to bring this the kids are really young this is the age for them to learn you are getting scared unnecessarily and you are scaring them too my uncle will teach them our children will be physically and mentally healthy learning skating their confidence level will increase many times you will see gattu was so happy that night that he fell asleep with his skating shoes on his chest gattu chinki's training started on the second day in the evening gattu chinki don't be in a haste take your time and learn have to practice practice makes perfect no one learns skating in a day don't worry bhaiya we will follow you today we will learn how to balance Today I will 100% lock your roller skating wheels. Wear safety guards. Then Gattu Chinki put on their helmet and other safety guards. Mayank bhaiya locked their skating wheels and taught both of them to lock and open the wheel. Now bend down from the waist and keep going slowly. With this you will learn to balance with skating. Gattu Chinki got bent from the waist to the front and kept going by taking small steps. For one week, Gattu Chinki learned to go with the skating wheel. Then Mayank opened the locks of the skating wheels by 25%. Now keep the balance in front and try to walk slowly. The balance should be in front because even if we fall, we can take the support of our hands. Then Gattu Chinki slowly started trying to walk on the wheels. The wheels were moving lightly. After a week, they got their balance. So Mayank opened 50% of the wheels and again asked them to walk while balancing. Now Gattu Chinki were enjoying a lot because now they were able to move forward by sliding well on the wheels. A few days passed like this. Then one evening Mayank opened both of their skating wheels by 100% due to which skating picked up speed. Chinki was falling again and again but was also raising by herself with the support of her hands. Gattu's balance was very well developed. He was moving fast on a smooth track. After some days, Gattu Chinki learned to do body balance even at high speed. But they didn't know how to put the brake. Mayank bhaiya taught them some ways to apply the brakes. And then Gattu Chinki started practicing skating every evening after returning from school. Within a few days, both of them became perfect in skating. One day mom was walking in the society campus when she saw Gattu skating fast and coming towards her. Mom had not seen him skate before. She thought that he would hit her now. So mom got scared. 
Gattu, stop! Gattu was just about to hit her. When Gattu took a perfect turn and he went out in the front without touching his mother. Smart boy. Seeing his sharpness, she felt very proud and got lost in thoughts seeing Gattu's skating. 